Hi, this is Jen with Cake Tastic Cakes, and this is a look at my Sailor Moon cake that I just made. And in the following video, I'm going to show you all the steps you need to take to make this cake yourself. So get ready to follow along. I started out with just a six inch cake. This was a very small cake. It was just for one person for their birthday, and they wanted it to be special. So they made, a, they ordered a Sailor Moon cake, which I was more than thrilled to take care of because I don't often get asked to do anime cakes. So it was a lot of fun for me. So I started out with my six inch chocolate cake, covered it with some nice pink fondant like you do, trimmed off all the extra, made it nice and neat. Now I have a cutout here of um, Sailor Moon. This is a silhouette that I found. Uh, it was actually a picture of the cake that she wanted me to make for, for her. It was inspired from that. So if you want to freeze your camera here, or actually if you wait just a second, you can say, you know, you can take a screenshot of that to make your own silhouette, make your own printout of it. That will work too. So yeah, I just cut it out, sized it up so that it would fit onto the cake. That's what I cut off the extra black at the bottom for, so it would fit the curve nicely. And I have just a rough template of the moon. It ain't the prettiest, but that's okay because I'm going to end up cutting wedges out of it. So, and this is all gum paste, by the way. Um, the gum paste I used, I wanted it to set up and dry so that my decorations would not move around on me. Now you can see she sticks up kind of high because of the way the moon is sitting underneath of it. So I'm using a, an X-Acto knife and just kind of trimming around her in order to cut out the extra, just like that. And then it will sit down into it and it'll be all nice and flush and the same size. So perfect, right? So yeah, I don't, like I said, I don't get asked to do a lot of anime. People tend to go more mainstream, I guess, even though anime is becoming more mainstream. And so doing something like this is a lot of fun. I like cartoon characters, um, but there's a very different style, I guess you could say, to anime versus, you know, Western type cartoons. So this was, this was fun and it came out really pretty. Now I'm just using some pink buttercream icing to make a few rosettes. Again, just following, you know, the idea that the person gave me with the cake that they saw online. And it, my rosettes were a little bit messy, so I'm just using my X-Acto knife and the back of my nail to just brush and smooth and kind of clean up my edges a little bit. There goes my son. Hi. Okay, so now I'm using some more gum paste, all in that same kind of light pink shade. Rolling it out really thin to create the vines coming out of the roses. It was a little long on that end, so I trimmed it down. And then I'm going to just create some little twirly curls, <laughs> little twirls or twists of the vine, just like that, just to make it kind of pretty, a little more flowy. I put a couple little leaves on it. Those were just circles of gum paste that I cut out and then just made a point. So they were shaped like little teardrops. I put a couple by the roses on either end and there you go. Now for the bottom, I'm creating a yellow buttercream border. This is just a French star tip that I had because I just really like French star tips. Gives a little more color too. Now that was as far as the cake went that she had sent me, but I felt like we could go a little bit further with it because again, I don't get asked to do anime stuff very much and I like it. So I want to do a little more. Now if you're familiar with Sailor Moon at all, you probably know where I'm going with this. I'm creating a red rose. And I'm doing that in honor of Tuxedo Mask, the one male character in the show. Sort of love interest, sort of hero, mystery hero of the show that comes in and has that red rose all the time. So I thought it'd be fun to do that. So I'm just using a, um, a little cutout there, the, red, the rose petal cutout, the five petaled flower cutout there. It comes with a Wilton kit that I have to make flowers. So I'm just making a small rose again because I'm not going, not going crazy with it. And I guess, you know, I could have gone more detailed with the rose petals and everything, but as far as the cartoon goes, you know, it's, it's an older one, so there's not a ton of details in it, and I thought it looked a little better this way, because you're doing, dealing with silhouettes and everything. I felt like a super, you know, hyper-realistic rose might not fit in as well. So I gave it a couple of leaves, again, using the kit that I've got. I'm using my knife to make some veins in the leaves. I just rolled out a green stem. Again, this is gum paste because I do want it to set. You could use fondant for any of these things. You just got to be careful it's not too soft that you might lose your shapes. I used the cat on the left there. That was the stencil that I used. If you wanted to print that out, there was your big opportunity right there. 
as well as some other ones if you want different shapes. And again, just some black gum paste, traced it out. There she is, there's gonna be my Luna using some of the yellow that I used before in order to make the little crescent moon on her head. And I'm also going to cut out some stars because I felt like it needed it. We need a little, little something else. So yes, my Luna's going on the side there. I know it's not the um, exact shape of Luna that she has, but it has the right feel. If you wanted to use a different shape, you know, something that's more big round headed, I guess, go for it. And now I'm gonna place Tuxedo Masks Rose on my cake plate there. I did have to add a little bit of water to it in order to get it to not stick. And like I was saying, you could use fondant for these if you wanted to. Um, you just have to add some Tylos or CMC powder for the rose. But the rest of the decorations, it wouldn't matter. You could just use straight up fondant. Now I'm adding a few of my yellow stars that I cut out. I'm just putting a few here and there because I felt like it fell, filled it in better, made it look nicer. And there you go. It's super pretty, very pretty, very cute Sailor Moon cake. So thank you for watching, and if you did find this video helpful, feel free to throw a little love my way with the tip jar at the bottom where you can share some love. And also please consider liking and subscribing because it really does help me out as well. I've got a lot of other videos out there on my channel, so please take a look. And as always, thank you for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.